All right, Shalom, Michael. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodas. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mills now. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that's teaching this word in all true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to take this lesson. A healthy dose of fear is coming. And that's what the Lord is bringing upon the planet Earth. Because we at the height of pride and wickedness. And, you know, the imaginations of the people is only evil. You know. So what's, what's going to uh, stop all this? You know, the fear of the Lord, man. You know, these said perils, you know, the promises the Lord set to, to befall this place. The evils. And through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashman the Lord have given us a heads up. And we have heard, you know, this word and, and, and we had the proper reaction. Matter of fact, let's start off with that in the book of Habakkuk 3. Because we was given that healthy dose of fear. And it wasn't uh, as in, as the extreme the Lord is gonna bring upon these people. Of course you had your certain turmoils, but it began with this word. This is the book of Habakkuk 3 and 2. It reads, O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. See? And that's the proper reaction you should have when the words of your Bashman shot come forth. You know, because according to Ezekiel the second chapter, the ninth and tenth verse, signing this little book, it is filled with lamentations, mournings, and woe. So that's what that's what you hear. That's what you're gonna um, hear from the prophets. And like our Lord Yahweh Shah said, as the time days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And what was that message Noah was preaching? What's the only thing Noah could really preach? The flood, man, destruction. And by that he was moved with fear, that healthy dose of fear. And in that uh, he was preserved. You know? So it says, O oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. What's that? Concerning these prophecies, man. And Ralph, remember mercy, see? So that should be your reaction. Concerning when this word is brought forth. You know, you ask them to be pardoned. You know, for the Lord to have mercy on you. Because these things that are promised to take hold of the earth, especially here in America, because we are in the beginning stages of it, you know? Matter of fact, let me get some real quick. Um, book of Ecclesiastes, Sarah, chapter 18, and I uh, start at 23, it reads, Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempt of the Lord. Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end. So the Lord is giving us a hint on what to pray for concerning the wrath that's in the end so when we praying you're not praying for vain things you know you're tilting your house by some hour shot you're praying for things that keep you more comfortable here in america no you should be praying about the wrath at the end as we just read in habakkuk the second chapter in wrath remember mercy so we know that wrath is in this time period also going back to the time of noah when you read Sirach 44, it talks about how this time is known as a time of wrath as well. You know, so we praying to be kept in this time. So it said, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end and the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. See, that's when that mercy, doors of mercy will close. Because the face of the Lord is being on display now by the way of this word. You know, this is the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh you know, this is the mercy of the Lord. His face shining upon us, which is us receiving his word, his truth. So he said when he turned away his face, that's when the doors of mercy is going to close. That's when that famine of the word, those answers will be taken off the streets. Talk about how that prudent man will be quiet in an evil time. You know, that's when the Lord is going to turn away his face, man. 
He pulled away his profits. You know? So going back, um, let's see. Matter of fact, because that's what that's for the elect. The elect have that dose, that healthy dose of fear and know what to pray for, have that certain spirit on them. But those that don't, they're gonna learn the hard way, man. Matter of fact, stay in the book of Ecclesiastical Sirach, chapter 36, and I start at verse 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, power of all, and behold us. And that's that's our prayer, man. For your how about small shout have mercy on us and, and to behold us, have that face to continue to shine upon us. You know, for us to continue to head of the word, man. That's the mercy of your how about small shot. It says, and send thy fear <laughs> upon all the nations that seek not after thee, see? And that's including two thirds of our people as well. There are another nation that's not seeking after Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So that's that healthy dose of fear. The Lord's going to send his fear by the way of these plagues and pestilence. Everything to bring forth discomfort, man. It says, lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. See, and that's what's going to take place. See, the Lord is about to show himself in a strange way. He says he's going to, um, until the, until the fourth, he's going to show himself forward. That's why it's going to be strange judgments to behold, to, to befall, especially America, Babylon, the great. This is where these players are going to come in, in its perfection. You know? It says, it says, as thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. So, yeah, we were sanctified by the way of this word. You can read St. John the 17th chapter. This word is what sanctified us. And we have been separated from these people. But guess what? Your Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to magnify himself among these people before us. Meaning, when that famine take hold, somebody going to play the part. Some nigga is going to take part of that famine. Some gook, some Edomite. Those that are not in the courts of Yahweh Shemal Shah will suffer these things, man. When the word, the word of the Lord is going to rise up against them. That's Yahweh Shemal Shah magnifying himself uh, among them before us when these plagues take hold of them. And it says, and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no power but only thou O Yahweh Bashim al Shai. See? See, then they're going to know about Yahweh Bashim al Shai. But it's going to be through death by pain, man. See, that's when that healthy dose of fear is going to come. You know? When death Destruction, distress. You know? That's that healthy dose of fear that's coming upon the planet. If you're going to know about your house from outside when we form a fast, and we getting to know the Lord, you know, uh, this, is the, this is the Lord getting to know the Lord uh, in a gentle way, so to speak, by the way of the Lord giving us his word. But they're going to know the Lord. They're going to they gonna know the Lord of hosts. That's the spirit you have by Shemal Shah is going to come at them with. You know, the Lord of Armies. So, matter of fact, uh, let's get this in the book of 2nd Ezra 16. Going back to their healthy fear. Um, this is 2nd Ezra 16. And uh, verse 19, re I started at 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? See? So we at the beginning stages of these things, these troubles. And as you can see, Ezra, what shall I do? Well, we're gonna we're gonna lean on Yahweh Shai, man. We're gonna trust in Yahweh Shai to keep us from these things that's coming on the earth. It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. See? So these things we seeing on the earth um, before they reach its perfection here in America, you know, when all hell fully break loose is as a scourge, a scourge, like a whip for a minute for us to, you know, to get right, man. Consider these things that's happening and to get right with the Lord. 
He says, but all these, put, put all these things, they should not turn away from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge. See, and that's all these people. They see what's going on on the earth, and they might be sickened for a minute, you know, and then suddenly everything is down, and they even worse than they was before the event took place. Like now, before the Crown Vic, you know, these people's already crazy as hell. But after the pandemic, you know, after a few shots and boosters, these people are even worse off now, man. He says, behold, this will shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And that's the snare. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sore famine and great confusion. And that's what these people are going to be taken with. They're going to succumb to these things. Scripts talk about their perplexity. Matter of fact, let's end off on that. Their perplexity. Let's get that. St. Luke 21. I start at verse 25. It reads, And there should be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roar. See, so this is what the Lord is bringing on the earth. You see these different signs in the heavens as well as these signs on the earth. And it said, and so it's happening all it together. What it says in that there will be perplexity, man. It says men's heart filling them for fear <laughs> and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And that's what's coming, man. You know, that healthy dose of fear, man. Because this is how Yahweh Shemar Shai going to combat the pride of these people, man. You know, that stiff neckness, the wickedness. The famine is going to solve all that. The, 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 uh, the newly created beast, these beasts that's, that's going to be unleashed, the troops, that's going to that's gonna solve all the problems, man. You know? So, yeah, I, can, I just hope that we're edifying, like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches the word in all true faith and sincerity. VTA Abba Baba soon. Very soon.